Hey Code Crew, if you started your iOS journey with me, it was undoubtedly in building the War Card game. I've created seven iterations of this beginner series over the last 10 years, improving it and updating it to keep pace with Apple's framework and Swift changes. Now this eight lesson beginner series is designed to teach the fundamentals to people with no technical background while keeping a focus on building confidence and having fun. And that's why it's been such a hit for everyone, including students in classrooms. If you went through these eight lessons already, you've gained the following skills. You've learned how apps go from code to app store. You've learned your way around Xcode. You've learned how to read and write Swift at a basic level. And you've learned how to build simple user interfaces. But more importantly, you've stopped doubting yourself about whether or not this is for you. Now, I wanna introduce you to what comes after this war card game, the menu app. This series continues from where the war card game left off and prepares you for the next step in your iOS journey and beyond. Now don't be fooled by this simple scrollable list. This is something that you could learn from tons of tutorials out there, but we're gonna take it a step further. Not only will you learn the skills needed to build this app, but we're going to modify the code afterwards to mimic that of a more complex app. Now let me explain. Many tutorials teach you how to build a simple single screen app and with good reason, it's a great starting point and you need to learn to walk before you can sprint. The problem is that there's a conceptual leap from a single screen app with self-contained data to a multi-screen app that fetches data from a variety of external sources. And not only is the code more complicated, but you'll have to understand aspects of networking, concurrency, proper app architecture, and coding for reusability, just to name a few. So in the second half of this menu app video series, that's what we focus on, explaining these concepts in preparation for the next larger, more complex app. So that's all fine and good, but when is this menu app video series going to be released and where can you watch it? Well, I'm happy to announce that it is free to watch on the Code with Chris learning platform. The reason it's not currently on YouTube is because the menu app series is a step up from the war card game in terms of skill level. So I wanted to enhance the learning experience with practical exercises, quizzes, and human support. Now these things are all available for free through the Code with Chris learning platform. Now I wanna be fully transparent. Aside from the quizzes, the challenges, and the human support that you're going to receive in our forum, you're also going to get a special offer to join CWC Plus, where you can get access to all of our available courses. You see, Code with Chris has grown into a business with a team of people behind the scenes making it all happen. And I thank you for your support over the years, and I hope you continue to find our iOS teaching valuable. Obviously, you're free to ignore the offer if you're not interested. Either way, you're still going to get access to the menu app video series, the exercises, the quizzes, and our team will support you in your learning, whether you are a paying customer or not. So to get access to the free menu app series, simply visit codewithchris.com. In the upper right corner, click on sign in, and then click on the register link right below the form and create a free account. Right away, you'll be redirected to the student dashboard where you'll find the menu app course card. Simply click start course to begin learning. Thanks. And I hope you enjoy this menu app video series, which I've created. I'll see you in the next lesson.